Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing one of Retta's daily quests and if it's the same as my other profile this one is called Bandit Raid. So Retta is right over here. There is a reward to handle a group of bandits. Would you be interested? And it is the same. Bandit raid. Okay, and this one is level 7. Whoops. Uh, so right here. A bandit group has been sighted raiding around these parts. Time to get rid of this menace. You can see there's a time limit. I've got to finish it in the next 17 hours. Otherwise, it's going to switch to the next quest, which, of course, will be done well before then. Uh, and uh, both descriptions are the same for once. Okay. Um, should I fast travel or should I go from here? It's... Oh, interesting. It picks a uh, bandit camp at random because on my other profile, it was this one. But now it's this one. Um, looks about the same distance from where I'm at, or that sink spot. So let's just go from here. I'm loving this outfit. I'm pretty sure that's my pre-order one because it's legendary and I had it like right away. So it must be the pre-order. Chicken is lucky he didn't get crushed. I wonder if there's anything I can do while I'm riding the horse. Let me see. Get out of the way. Nope, that stopped him. Yep, that's unfortunate. Would love to be able to, like, manage my inventory while the horse is taking me wherever it's going. But, oh well, can't do that. But we can look around at the scenery, although not much going on out here. Alright, so we've got four enemies marked. Now, if you want to, I don't typically do it, but you can use Senu to get these guys marked. Although they're already marked, but if they weren't... Oh, actually... Huh, I thought before I was able to mark multiple enemies. Maybe it's just because they already have the diamond on them. But it looks like I can only mark one. Oh, never mind. There's the mark. It shows their shield icon. Alright, let's see. I got my sleep darts ready to go. Although they are sleeping, so they'll be easy kills. This guy's all alone. Alright, these guys I can just curb stomp. Nobody... Well, I guess he was watching out, but just one guy on lookout doesn't seem like a good idea. Alright, one more. Oh, he's asleep too. And there's another guy. Alright, and of course, we cleared this out before. That's one thing I really like about this game. Some people might not like it. I like it. Anything that you loot remains looted. So, uh, I personally can't stand games where I pick something up and then I come back later and it's still there. I like it when I clear a place out and it stays cleared. And that's the case in this game. And I think I might have even dropped that torch. Well, whatever. I picked it up. Okay, so we need to go back. And, of course, we can fast travel. Oh, 
Now on my other profile, I got an amazing reward. Let's see if this is the same. A completed task requires a reward, does it not? Yep, so just like on my other profile, I got a legendary item. So that's amazing. If you can do these every day, you're going to have all sorts of legendary items. Possibly. Not sure if it's always legendary, but there's at least a chance, and the chance seems high because I'm two for two. Um, so yeah, legendary hunter bow. Quality is 34. Damage is 160 a second. It's level 11. Charging speed is 4. Adrenaline on kill is 2, and on fire. I think that means it does fire shots? I would assume. Uh, power charge. Even the bravest warrior weeps to see this bow unslung on the battlefield. It's got a cool name too. Deathstorm. I like it. Oh, and I think I got a... Oh, right. So the chest is automatically opened, and that's where I got this, the uh, bow. That makes sense? So, let's definitely put that bow on. Beats the crap out of the one I have. Oh, yeah. It's like more than double the quality. And more than double the level, so I'm going to be doing a ton of damage. And it's got the same amount of ammo. Alright, put that on and we'll just break this down. We have no need for this anymore. And what is... Oh, I can get increased max arrow capacity. Very nice. Rank 2 on that. And you know what? Let's just switch out that spear with... I don't know. The eye of a pep. Actually, that spear is... Well, it's only level 4. Let's put a scepter on the offhand, offhand just because it's higher level. I haven't played with one of those yet. I need to uh, upgrade my Eye of a Pep at some point. Okay, but I think we're good for now. So, let's go do a location, and then we'll wrap this up. So, the location I have in mind is right there. Seven hundred and forty meters. Jeez, making me travel. I wonder if I can ever upgrade my mount speed. I don't think so, but maybe. I I actually still haven't gone to the stable master. I need to do that. Actually, I think we'll do that before we quit. So we'll go do this location, then we'll go to the Stable Master, see what he's got, and then we'll call it. I trust nobody on horseback. I always think they're going to attack me, because they usually do. But those guys were cool. idea what's going on there. Alright, new location discovered. Hippopotamus lair. Now, I haven't had much practice fighting the uh, hippopotamuses, but so far they're fairly easy. Um, just kind of have to dodge in and out. I haven't really tried the blocking. I don't know how effective it is against their attacks. Tried to block there, it didn't really work. But it might have been a little slow. So yeah, it seems like the trick is just in and out. Dodge to the side. Oh! But I was a little slow there. Oh, he seems stunned by something, but he recovered. Jeez, I feel like I'm doing no damage to him. What's going on here? Alright, well, let's get the attack speed boost then. The good old overpower. Right, well, we got another one. Let me see what I, I got first. I got hippopotamus meat, a rare delicacy also known as lake cow bacon. All right, let's see how good this bow is. Ooh, I got 22. Oh, whoops, I'm on the wrong thing. Oh, wow, look at that damage. That's incredible. Wow, this guy's screwed. He's got no chance. There we go. 
Location complete. And he's running away. Haha. <laughs> I didn't know they did that. That's awesome. Oh, and it's on fire. That looks super awesome. I like it. Alright, and there's some goodies around here, too. A sistrum. That's a new trinket. Adronikos, I am sad to report your chariot was in a horrible accident. I know the pharaohs had blessed it, but I do believe it was charged by a hippo. The horses are missing and your driver. Archimedios. Two. I will continue to search for them, but I fear there is nothing salvageable about the situation. Sincerely, Claesthenes. Alright, so, let's see, we got some new gear. Just a wooden shield. And whoops, ah, and the wrong buttons. Alright, inventory, we had a new trinket, a sistrum. This ancient musical instrument looks like a handheld metal abacus, used primarily in religious ceremonies. I see. Okay, well, we're done. At this location, let's go back to the stables and see what they've got to offer. Let's see, it's down there. Oh man, that guy got trampled. And he did not care, didn't even look down. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I would like to buy. Okay, so just horse um, appearances. Although apparently I can get a camel. The stranger. He wandered into town a few weeks back. No one knows where he came from. Sure. I'll get the stranger. Why not? Let's see how he looks. Oh, I already had a camel. I forgot about that. Hello, stranger. He's actually kind of cool looking. I like him. Well worth my 300 drachma. Okay, so we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.